We're here with Dan Calloway at Bardstown Bourbon Company. Dan, we're inside a very special room here. Tell us about some neat bourbons here, unique bourbons here. Tell us what all's in here. Yeah, so this is our vintage whiskey library. Over 400 bourbons dating back to 1892. All of them are available by the poor. Starts up here, the 1892 Cedarbrook out of Anderson County, McBrayer Distilleries. At the time, the best known bourbon in the world. Wow. 1916 George T. Stagg. Uh, amazing pour. And a lot of these Prohibition era whiskeys are, are, are labeled medicinal, which is just really cool <laughs> to see. One of the largest collections of uh, Prohibition whiskey I know of. Moving forward, you've got the 1909 Old Overholt Rye. Uh, got those on a Christie's auction. Uh, some great old tailors. The American Legion, J.W. Gant. They made this uh, 50th anniversary of American Legion to uh, honor those who served in the Vietnam War. Uh, some great I.W. Harpers, some brands that have been revitalized like Michter's and Cream of Kentucky. Uh, this is kind of the big money shelf with the Tristitza Weller juice right here. And then you've got Julian Van Winkle really launching uh, uh, the Pappy series with the 20 year old dated. This is early 90s. Some Rare Eagle Rare and Elmer T. Lee signed Buffalo Trace Barrel Prick. Um, the Old Forester Birthday Series. You can see some of them are missing now because we saw them all by the port. We need to reload. A great Four Roses. We drank this one with Al Young a couple weeks before he passed away. Uh, this is one of my favorite bourbons mm -hmm. ever made. Top three for sure. 1969 Old Crow Chessman. Um, really a marketing play uh, on how to keep bourbon going with, with uh, gin and vodka really coming on strong. Got the Heaven Hill section up here. Some great old McKenna's, which are pretty sought after. Um, you have a true Canadian bourbon up here from the 30s. 1930s Seagram's Canadian bourbon. Our Booker's, our old granddad, our wild turkey. We keep this cheesy gold foil, they call it. Um, a real favorite, which unfortunately we just finished. <laughs> we need to get another one of those. And then some Stitzel Weller juice right here from the Orphan Barrel series. Uh, as well as some more modern Jefferson's Kentucky Owl. So cheers, hope you can come enjoy it for.